An excellent question came up. What are safety factors? Safety factors uh, don't only relate to engineering, they also relate to life. And they can be called factors of safety or safety margin if you like. And uh, it doesn't have to be an overcomplicated engineering concept, you know. It's, uh, it's not rocket science. Well, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. For example, in life, if you have badly worn tires, you might want to keep your safety margin from other cars so you don't rear end others or, uh, or, or in uh, rain. Uh, if you live in an earthquake zone, safety experts suggest that you keep with you uh, three days worth of water and three days worth of dry food that doesn't need refrigeration like like biscuits crackers and beef jerky like this one here and you can just eat in case of an emergency or if you go into a lecture you might want to go to washroom before you go into a 45 minute or an hour and a half whatever long lecture or meeting or to a movie so as you don't piss off other people so those are your safety factors or safety margins in life they don't have to include numbers necessarily but in engineering and in math they do the word factor has a specific meaning and it relates to multiplication when two things are multiplied two numbers are multiplied a factor and a factor you get a product for example 5 and 3 are factors of 15 some other factors of 15 are 1 and 15 those are also factors of 15 and you know that if you take the product if you take 15 you divide it by one of the factors you can get the other factor back okay so in uh, in terms of material science, take a look at what's on the living room floor here. All of these things have safety factors or design factors and they're not printed on the material, they need a little bit of math. Chains, hooks, web slings, ropes, all of this stuff comes with a safety factor. Take a look at the TV screen over here. There about, ah, come a little closer. There, so you can see what's on it. There, oops. If I scroll down to the shackles, there. These are the shackles that I used in uh, lifting a load. And if you recall, it was this shape of a shackle. And it's a 5.8 shackle, 5.8, its size in imperial or inches is clearly printed on it. And it says WLL, working load limit, or sometimes it says safe work limit, SWL. 3, 1 slash 4, so that reads 3 and a quarter T tons, 3 and a quarter tons. In this case, they mean short tons, where it's 2,000 pounds for a short ton. So, this shape is anchor shackle, that's what it says thereabouts, and those are chain shackles. And where the safety factor is, is in this table. You can see it says mechanical properties up top, and maybe come a little closer, just a touch, thereabouts. And there, mechanical properties of shackles and you can see the size 58 appearing there. there that's probably better okay 58 and on the same line here you can see that number or that number that's all on the same line so up top here you see working load limit WLL working load limit and it says three and a quarter tons there it is 6,500 pounds because uh, 2,000 pounds make uh, one short ton so if I go on a calculator and go 2,000 times three and a quarter there is the 3.25 there 6,500 pounds so so that's the working load limit there the three and a quarter that they printed on it 
and uh, that's where it appears in the table so that 6500 that's, that's what that 6500 is and if you come over here to the breaking load column you can see the number 32500 now there are grade A and grade B shackles you can see that the grade B shackles are a lot stronger than grade A shackles and uh, grade A shackles are carbon or alloy steels and grade B shackles are much stronger alloy steel shackles and uh, they have uh, specific markings on them to identify them and everything so 32,500 like I said what is the safety factor okay safety factor is buried in these numbers if you multiply two factors you get a product so we don't have a we, we have we have a product here and let's get the safety factor take the 32,500 put it in calculator that's the breaking strength okay that's where the shackle fails and cracks and 32,500 and that's the working load limit 6,500 they allow and design these shackles to uh, be used as if it was only that strong 6500 so you take the 32,500 you divide it by the other factor you take the product you divide it by one of the factors 6500 you get your safety factor 5 what that means is that that's the rated working load limit but the shackle itself is 5 times as strong it will break at 32,500 pounds okay so the safety factor in it is 5 on that shackle this table just in case you want to know what the heck this document is is uh, is known as uh, R RRC 271F and uh, it is a document from the National Association of Chain Manufacturers and I just clicked on that link up top there and uh, downloaded this one manufacturers need to conform to these specifications that's, uh, that's printed in this document here and you can see everything from let me just go to some pictures you can see all kinds of ASTM standards American Society for Testing and Materials how the lettering should be done on uh, their uh, welded chains, twist chains, all kinds of weldless chains like like this one which is just uh, twisted wire no welding, double loop okay there's plumbers chains uh, you know this kind of bead chain you have seen these kind of things on keychains and uh, all the numbers and specifications and coating and identification and uh, how these should be made everything is here there there's working load limits and uh, breaking load on uh, connecting links these shapes and there's everything here in here those are the shackles that's where we were and let's see there's okay there's slip hooks and there is grab hooks rings whatever uh, everything that you can use in uh, rigging and hoisting everything is listed in uh, this document here you can see some of these shapes and uh, and uh, that's how this document works in this other document I got the chains here this is just the chains the welded chains this one that I used for lifting the slab and this is uh, grade 70 transport chain and you can see here definitions what kind of chains there are grade 100 grade 80 grade 70 grade 43 grade 30 and uh, those are the definitions in the definitions you can see working load limit again and you can see uh, breaking strength of it everything how manufacturers may manufacture it what kind of uh, galvanizing and zinc coating uh, chains may have the grade 70 chain shall be embossed with 7 70 or 700 and uh, that's what you can see on 
on these chains and hooks and you can see this one is G70 G-70 grade 70 that's for the hook and for the chain let me just find a link there we go and that link says R G7 just wait for the camera focus there or G7 so this is grade 70 chain okay let's take a look at the safety factor in this one around page 7 because that's grade 30 grade 43 grade 70 transport chain we know that this chain is 5 16th chain and that's where it is in the table just come on a little closer because those numbers are super tiny maybe I can even zoom a little closer this 5 16th chain this is a 5 16th chain and there is the bucket that was part of the film and it says working load limit 4700 pounds and if you follow this line working load limit 4700 pounds so there's that number and uh, proof test uh, there breaking force 18 there 18,800 so what you do grab your calculator breaking strength 18,800 pounds divided by the other factor the working load limit 4700 4700 you're gonna get back the other factor the safety factor 4 so apparently this chain is what the same meaning of this 4 is that the you should be using the chain as not to lift anything heavier than 4700 pounds with it static static no bouncing no wind no yanking on it however the chain is four times as strong it's gonna break at uh, uh, at this force level but you should be using it lifting and balancing of static load of uh, 4700 pounds the chain is four times as strong and you need that safety factor lastly I've got this rope here with a safety factor this is gonna be a treat here let me find it it says on it let me just adjust the camera here for a sec there you can see it that it has a 10,600 pounds tensile strength okay that's ultimate tensile strength on this one and you should be using this rope this is a lifeline for uh, safety harness and everything you know you should be using these ones uh, and your anchor points and everything so that it's a 5,000 pound rope 5,000 pound working load limit on this one 5,000 pound strength has to be in your anchor point wherever you tie down to so if the rope breaks at 10,600 this one has a safety factor of 2 the amount of force that 5,000 pound force is is approximately produced by a free fall of 10 feet and you know you should be tied down to a height where that where uh, free fall is limited to not more than 10 feet and and at 10 feet and 5,000 pound you are gonna get hurt seriously you live but uh, you won't be a happy camper so this rope has a safety factor of two